Hey guys, so I'm just recording this little segment to go at the beginning of this episode uh, to say that the submission period for the little contest we were running is ended now. So we've got all of the uh, entries and me and Charlie are going to look over them and we will decide who wins in the next episode, I think. So anyway, let's get on with the episode. Here we go. Hey guys, I'm just having a little bit of a tidy up in our nether hub room, so I thought I'd share this with you guys. Taking care of the little problem we had there. Okay, hey viewers, Charlie's here. By the way, Charlie, I I did some recording last night, so. <gasps> you I don't know if any of that's going to make it in the episode though, because it you wasn't great. Didn't involve me, man. Well, you wanted to go to bed. Well, not my fault. You want to go to bed all the time. It's not my fault if you're too stupid to understand sleep cycles. Yeah. Just get your secret to hooker. But right, I'm in. Where the mm. fuck am I? What? Where did all the buildings go? Oh, I chopped them down. They were ugly. No, your face is ugly. What the fuck's in here? Hmm? Oh, it's look, it's water. Oh, by the way, I think I may have accidentally spoiled myself with the uh, scrolls. Which scrolls? Everyone. All of them? I know exactly what drops what now. Oh, what did you do that for? I was trying to see if the pigmen dropped thingy and it showed me what they dropped and everything else dropped. Uh, well, I guess you might as well tell me since you know. Pigmen do not drop looting. No, I know they don't drop looting. It says as expected. Not looting fortune, not fortune. They drop fire resistance. Ah, well, that sucks. And it is as I feared. You get the money one from one of these bastards. Right. I did start thinking that might be the case. Um, so look, if you look at this guy, look at his final trade. I'm trying to look, but you're in the way. Ah, looting. Yep, looting. 24 emeralds, you've got to be fucking yeah, it's not that difficult. Look, we got some hemp there, there's another emerald, thank you. Yeah, but does it reset after a while, or is it poo? <gasps> Chicken! Chicken. Does it does it reset after a while? This guy trades for pork. What do you mean, does it reset? Like, it won't X off and we can't ever use it ever again. Oh no, if it X's off, then you just have to... You do the final trade on the list, and it will refresh it. Somet oh. Sometimes. There's another emerald. So, you know, oh. we're stocking up on emeralds. Slowly, slowly. The thing is, I'm pretty certain if you're gonna get fortune from one of them, it would probably be either from these priests. I think it's a priest. Or from the, uh, the scientist the ones. Priest. I may have cheated a little. It is the priest. Okay. Kind of. Hang on a second. You've got looting one there. But this guy gives you looting infinite. What are you on about? That sword is looting, but this gives you looting. Let's get looting. Anyway, what are we doing today? I don't know. I feel like we've done a bit too much trading and stuff lately. Got I feel like we should go do something forever. else. Forever. Yeah. Forever. I saw the flashes of never after that show. I think I know what you want. Huh? No, I. I to mining! I've got some uh, kibble. <gasps> I figured we could get the, the pigs out of that little pen and uh, start breeding them up. Let's go! I don't know if we want to do that right now though. Let's probably go well, do something else more exciting. We can, we're going to have to throw it in because we can't actually lure them effectively anyway. 
No, I was thinking we could build a minecart track and just quickly move them away from the portal. Uh, we may as well just chuck them in here. Huh? They're not eating it. Oh, there they are. They should do. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a bit close to the portal though, so I want to move them away. Yeah. So. Didn't one guy say like a hundred blocks is that... Like... Uh, George... well... George said that his stuff um, got corrupted and it was a hundred blocks away from the portal. And other people have been saying that it's not to do with... or that they don't know whether it's to do with distance or not. But if it's not nothing to do with distance, why has none of this stuff become corrupted? Hmm. I know. It just doesn't make much sense, and it's really oh. difficult to figure out. I know what we can do. Give me some wheat, a bix. Yeah. We gotta get that sheep. Oh, you gotta go get the blue sheep. Yeah. Oh, I got a sheep pen. We come around the side here. Follow me. I got some sheep over here. They're just white sheep, though. This may take a while. Um, but do you think we should just go? Oh, I, uh, I, I went and did your tunnel to the Nether Fortress. Yay! I didn't exactly link it up properly yet, but yeah. I, I know it basically leads to the fortress now. So you can eat kibble. Uh, I don't think it's good for you. Didn't do anything bad to me. Oh, okay. You can eat it if you want. <laughs> Yay! You dog. I become the beast. So yeah, I think we should head over to the over to the Nether. Uh, I tidied up the Nether hub as well. Yay. So I think we should go see what we can do about building a Nether farm, since we need the gold. And if we can get that looting uh, scroll, we can start trying to get some skeleton heads with the skeleton heads and get our first beacon. Oh yeah, looting works on that. I did. I completely forgot it works that way. Yeah, I forgot you could do the whatever do who help the Mhm. Whatever the hell I was trying to say. Uh, with the skeleton skulls. Yes. You are a genius. And also a madman at the same time. Mer. Well, at the very least, we need to head over there and start making plans. Maybe, let's just try and get the tunnel to the fortress done. Okay, so guys, this is where the tunnel came down to. And the, oh, the fortress is basically directly underneath us here, but it's really low down. So we need to figure out some way of making some kind of staircase or minecart track that goes up from the fortress. You can't see it here. If I jump down here though, you can, you can kind of see the entrance over here. I think it is. Where is it? Oh, there's our bridge. Right, so yeah, there's our bridge, which means the fortress is actually directly underneath us here. There it is. But it's so deep down, we need to figure out some way of making a staircase and linking it up to our tunnel up there. So, what I'm thinking is, we're going to have to build our Wither Skeleton Farm where the fortress actually is. And, uh... We also want to have a blaze spawner set up as well, and the uh, the zombie pigment farm as well. So that's three farms we need to have room for. So this blaze spawner right here is the one I want to set up. So if we cleared out this area and started setting it up as a spawning platform, we could probably get quite a lot of wither skeletons here. Um, and then we also want this place spawner over here set up and we need somewhere for the 
zombie pigmen farm, which could go over there somewhere above this big lava lake. So where are we going to have the entrance? Somewhere like this? I'm thinking just kind of about here, and then we'll build a staircase up to the roof. Oh, careful. Don't get too close to that. Yeah. I'm going to start clearing out a staircase then. Hello. You're so ugly. Oh my god. Quickly, I must look at something more attractive. Pigman. You will do. Uh... You're a nasty boy. You're in a freaky iron helmet of ugliness. Wear a gold helmet. It goes with your hair. <laughs> okay, so, like I was saying before Charlie had to go... You need my food. Pasta bacon. Um, so, with the skeletons, at least in vanilla, um, they're kind of weird because they use the same spawning... Uh, as endermen? As skeletons. Oh. So they can spawn in a too high area, even though they're three high. Really? So they can spawn and get their head stuck, and then they can't ah. move. And then we can go up them and hit them. No stupid and, uh, noobs, brr. So it's really easy to kill them as a manual. A, ma way, a manual saw... mob farm is quite easy to do. By the way, I saw a thing for the weather, weather boss. When this guy went up to the top in the nether, had a little button thing. Mm -hmm. He placed it, he landed. But the piston pushed him up into the ceiling and he couldn't explode anything because of the bedrock. Oh, so he got stuck in the bedrock. Yeah, well, we, do, we don't need that in Battle Walls because you can make no. self steel blocks and the wither can't break them. Oh. So, can he break every other block normally then? Yes. Yeah. So anyway, uh, what I was thinking was, if we clear out a big area right here and just go, set go, up go, a, go, go. man, this shit, go, 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 set go. up a, uh, with the skeleton spawning pad. Time for words, jig boy, jig. Right, can you stop that? Can you stop that? Come on, oh, we've got to do the staircase first. Burn. Come over here. So I'm thinking this could be the entrance to our nether. The doom Nether farm awful. area base. Oh my god! We need lots of cobblestone though, Charlie. Yes. So, can you give me some cobblestone, please, Charlie? There you go. Thank you. There you go. There you go. There you go. Here's some more. Have some there. Here's some who. How about where? Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Come but your bow. How about the moo? Here's some more cobble. Cobble it were. Still new cobble. Thank you. Couple some block. Here's some you more. need some too. Oh. oh, give me some more. I got it all. I got one stack. There you go. So right, we'll... so we're building up a staircase up to the ceiling. Oh. And we're going to try and link it up to our tunnel, basically. Hopefully, it's. Uh... Hopefully, we have enough room to actually link it up. And they call it never. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I guess they'll never know how the chickens will explode if they're exposed. Burr, burr, burr. We got a new cobblestone. Mm -hmm. Give it to me, you noob. Right, so we got to get the rest of the uh, the rest of the way up. It's going to be difficult with these ghasties. Oh shit! Lava, lava, lava! Charlie, shit! Lock that. Run. Oh fuck's sake! Are you safe? I'm safe. Oh, if he shoots at you, I can't really do anything about it, Charlie. Hang on, I'm finished. Okay, got one of them. Uh, keep going, Charles, keep going. Wait, quick build, boom. Yeah, just keep going in one single line. Oh, shit! Got it. Yeah, 
Dude, they're shooting at you, so I can't, I can't aim it. It's going to the cobblestone. Nash, your lead snapper skills. Okay, let's dig in a straight line until we get to. You don't have to pave this bit. It looks better. We have, to, we have to find the tunnel that. though, and I'm not even certain. We may have even gone past the tunnel at this point. No, here it is. Okay. Oh, that was good. That was a lucky, uh, lucky little link right there. Ah, unless flower charts made it so wither skeletons can't spawn on um, anything other than netherrack. Hmm. If he has, then that's going to make farming uh, wither skeletons a little bit difficult. Crap, the kibble actually poisons you. No. No. I was eating it before and didn't do anything bad. Yeah. You wanna come in, Charlie? No? Uh, move a bit. Right, so hey guys, we're back. We've been slowly taming the nether. So if you come and have a look at what we're doing, we have our staircase going out up to our tunnel. I'm just gonna block that so the pig man don't go in. Do you have any food? I've got some bread. And not very much though. I'm gonna need that. Right, so we've been clearing this room out and we're gonna test out whether the wither skeletons can spawn on uh, blocks that are not nether rack or stone nether brick. Yes. Because if they can, then we can build our trap out of that and we won't get any uh, zombie pigmen in there. I'm gonna need food ACF, I'm gonna die soon. Yeah. Hi, Carl. Uh, should we first check to see if we get any spawn in here as it is? I haven't seen any spawn in here yet. He's lit it up. Oh. Let's just block off the entrances. Entrance. Wait a second. Oh shit! What? It's blazes. I wish this pig man would go away. He's got a bone in his hand though, so... He won't bloody despawn now. Block this off so we don't get shot off and stuff. Oh, block this off. Block that off. Oh, block I hear plays shooting. Yeah, they're shooting at me. It's all good. Uh, this way, just block that off. Don't need that open. Can I start knocking off these torches now? Yeah, let's just block off these holes so we don't get any light in here. Should have brought some gravel so we can kill these pigmen. Hang on, I've got an idea, I've got an idea. Hmm? Lucky freak. Oh shit, no man, he's too smart for that. You can push him in a hole. <gasps> push him out, push him out, push him out. Yeah. Oh shit! You hit him! Oh shit. Kill him, kill him! <clears throat> block it off, block it off, block it off! Potion of healing go. Oh, you've already got one. Yeah. There's another one. Oh, well, great. We're stuck in here now. You can have to kill them all. There's one down there. Don't come near me. Don't come near. Alright, come down. Come down here. See if that guy hits you. Hitting you? He doesn't seem to be. Oh, I think he may. Lucky. Anyway, I'm going to block this uh, this room off. So it's in pitch black in there now. It should be. I think he will actually attack me if I go near him. In fact, I'm just going to check this is pitch black. Right, it's not gloom. I guess you don't get gloom in the nether because of the ambient light. But anyway. Charlie, come with me. Yes, where are you? We gotta go away from the, the room. 
so that mobs can spawn in there. And see if we can get any skeletons spawning in there. Don't go too... Oh. Don't go too close to that. Nothing. Um. Well, time for aggressive expansion. Layer time. Yep, we could lay it up and down and try and increase the number of spawning pads and whatever, but it's not going to make any real difference until we can stop the mobs from spawning elsewhere. And yeah. the only way to do that at this point is to get the nether groth. What does nether groth actually do? It spreads out and it stops mobs from spawning. How effective is the range of spread? I think it just keeps going. I mean, like, say if, like, a block of lava lake is in the way. Well, it can't spread onto lava, but it spreads all over the netherrack. Does it cling to, like, vines? I think so. So it'll go from one block to another block next to it? Yeah, I think it just spreads like that. So it could effectively, like, go from this wall, this block, into the next wall? I don't know. I don't think it will go inside rooms. But you go put it on like the surface of the nether, and it will just spread out. Let's do it. We need mycelium. No. Well, we, you don't need mycelium. That's the thing. There okay, is a, se my... there's a secret recipe. Or some secret way of getting it. Hmm. That we don't know. Um, I, I think, actually, someone said something about nether trees growing. Like, and I'm wondering whether maybe that's involved in the creation. Possibly. So I think we should go investigate the nether trees again. Yeah, I'm going to go plant that nether tree again and see if we can get that to grow. Right, where should we do this, uh, this thing then? I don't know. In the middle where we load it up? Hmm? Like we'll, our starting area. Yeah, well, my plan for the nether hub is to actually have staircases going down in this circle, like here. We have a staircase going down to the lower layer. Yeah, okay. And then the lower layer will have our nether wart and bloodwood tree farms on it. Let's do that then, go. That's big projects, Charlie. You don't just go, oh, let's just do that then. Well, we can do it for now. Well, go we on. just need for now to plant it somewhere, so let's just clear a space. I thought you meant we were going to go down and back into the circle bit and like have like a layer. Like layer upon layer of rules. Yes, but that is a big project. Just building oh. that room is a big project. Oh, so okay. let's not do that right now. Instead, right, we need eight blocks, so we need to go four blocks down. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's just clear a little room here. And here we go! Okay, so we got a one tree planted. We'll plant some more when this one grows and we hopefully get some saplings. Okay, guys, this tree won't grow. And Charlie so, Charlie looked it up, it's meant to grow. We're gonna use some massive fucking fertilizer on this shit right here, ladies and gentlemen. We got the finest breed. It's called souls. The souls of our enemies will help this tree grow. Yes. Right, okay. Let's get, get the it. I'll go get it. So sure. appar apparently the soul lands can act as a bone mill for these trees, so we're gonna go get that. What you need in your potassium nitrate tree is some potassium nitrate manure. And we get those by killing stuff and harvesting their souls. Yes. But we can't kill stuff and harvest it normally. That's what never acts for, ladies and gentlemen. It acts as a lightning rod of souls, I think I find. I've already got some urns here, so. Basically, this never acts as you can see, guys, I was experimenting trying to get the, uh. Yes. The nether groth stuff. Yes, never act is also a lightning rod for souls, I think I find, ladies and gentlemen. So when you go to hell, usually there'll be lots of undead shit, which we like to call mobs, but move near hell, never act, captures their souls, kills them before they can spawn, and oh the bingo, you got some potassium nitrate manure. Now quickly, 
Quickly, Do so... the tree, you're just right. Is this gonna spawn a ghast? Uh, I don't think it can do that. Well, we've got battle axe. Alright, you get ready with the battle axe. Boom, bitch! I'm gonna right click it. Ready? Go! There we go. We're oh, it's really tall. Tree, tree. It probably wouldn't grow in this height. It's, it probably needed a taller area. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves right here a blood tree. Now, yes. as you can see, it's bleeding, which is not a healthy sign. Can I have you... that leaf? Yes. See, if Thank your you. blood tree starts to bleed, what you're going to want to do is chop it down immediately, burn it, and never speak of it again because it's a hellborn Satanism. Ugh, look at that. This is what happens when your potassium nitrate tree goes wrong. It's not naturally meant to do this, or scream. It's just what they told me in manure school. Right, so we probably need to make this room a bit taller. Anyway, now, what I'm hoping is that maybe this tree is what's used in making the nether grass stuff. Okay, I'm trying to chop this wood up. Oh, it turns into jungle wood. Oh, that sucks. So you get you get soul dust though. Oh, cool. Now, naturally, what bark did you get? Did you get lap. bark? Uh, no, I did not get bark. Okay. You get quite a lot of saplings. That's good. I'm gonna chop this stuff up. See what happens. Boom. <gasps> you do get a bark. You do get soul dust though. <gasps> oh, you do get soul dust. Yeah. But um, you get blood bark. Let me look. Look. Let me look. Looks like flesh. Okay, blood bark's good. And the soul dust? Uh, there you go. Right, so this soul dust, Charlie, you can turn it, um, turn it into sawdust the same way you turn ground netherrack into hellfire dust. Oh, okay. Where do you get this regular sawdust from? You get that as well. Oh. oh that sucks. Just your anyway, you can use these, or you can use the sawdust at least to uh, to get uh, bottled souls, which is good. That's... See, that's what you get when you get blood tree: death, souls, and destruction. Yeah. Onward. So I'm just going to quickly go and check the uh, the cauldron with some of these items. Now, if you want your potassium nitrate tree, uh, click the Click the PayPal link in the description below and we shall send you some. <laughs> Potassium nitrate tree. Bye now. £5.50. Right, none of this stuff seemed to work, Charlie. So damn it, Charlie, I think we might have to go looking for a mushroom island biome. That's going to take us 20 billion years. I've got a better idea. Well, we can, we can map out the... Uh, the right. We can map out the maps as we do it and we can stream it. Oh, if the viewers happen to know the recipe, you know, I would not be totally akin to you, uh... Just telling us what it is we need. Hmm. Maybe. It is meant to be a secret, though, so... Well, secrets were meant to be given away to nice people. We are nice people. Anyway, do you want to say goodbye to the viewers, Charlie? Okay... Well... Ladies and gentlemen, you know where to go to get your potassium natty tree. Order now on 050-078-5252, Nevergroth Potassium Nitrate Tree. Dot com. Bye. Bye.